Hello Newcastle fans, TV, right, this video is just quickly unedited, just basically quick reaction for the signing of Hans Sells, who have signed, um, it's actually pouring down so I'm just going to quickly get some, uh, get up these stairs. So yeah, we've signed Hans Sells on a five year deal from Ghent, now there'll be a full thorough video out later on tonight, but I'm just quickly doing this because I'm stuck at work until 10 o'clock the night, so I'm a little bit behind of the Newcastle news, so apologise about that, but the thought on the signing so far is I'll try and get dry because it's pouring down is what I know of him now I've seen him on BT Sport playing for Ghent when they were in the Champions League and what I've seen of him he's a steady goalkeeper is he an improvement on what we've got question mark about that um, only time will tell from what I can see because I don't think he's going to be a huge improvement in the goalkeeping area Future doubts about uh, obviously Tim Krull is at the end of him now with one year left on his contract. Is Rafa thinking let's cash in on him? But mind you, Elliot's injured until October. There was no mention of Carl Darlow today when he was bringing up the Carl Darlow. So Woodman's likely to be loaned out. So let me tell me quickly off the top of my head uh, what I know of Han Sells. So he's great at one on ones. He's very, for a big man, he's great at getting low as well. Now, as you would expect, being a goalkeeper is a great shot stopper as well. Reactions, he's good at reactions as well. I've seen a couple of, obviously, like I said, in BT Sport, because I watch every single game, including highlights, and I'm a bit of a football nerd. And you've got to remember, he's just missed out on the Belgium squad, because he's fourth choice Belgian goalkeeper. He's yet to make an appearance to a Belgium. Now, Gili is their third choice goalkeeper at the Euros, and he's 37. So you would expect now that Sells will step up the mark into the Belgium side. The only concern about that if Simon Minley is ahead of you, it's a slight worry, but it's a piece of business, it's good news. I'm going to spin around because I'm literally coming towards the end and I'll get, uh, I'll actually get soaking. And the other thing that's happening at the moment, which is probably downstairs below me, is Dwight Gale is in the building. He's coming from the airport. Your thoughts on Dwight Gale? I'm in two minds about it, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I don't think he's an improvement of what we've got. I like the fact that he's still relatively young, he's pacey, he can play out wide if he needs to be. Yes, he's an added he's an added feature to the side. It gives us more options, so on the positive, but we've got to remember and be realistic at the same time that Newcastle are playing championship football. We're not in the Premier League and we're still attracting Premier League players. So for me, and the other one is uh, Richie, we've been linked to him, we'll have to see how that goes. But like I said, um, I'm optimistic, I'm happy, but we'll have to see, time will tell, on the signings. Get your comments down there below. Now I've got to go head back to work now. And the video, a full video will be out tonight, a full thorough video on hands, later on tonight. And thanks for watching Newcastle Fans TV, and I'll see you.